Hi, this is Jessica Bowman with SEOinhouse.com. We're at PubCon Vegas, and I have Dwayne Forrester with me. Dwayne, Hi, thanks for giving us your time. Absolutely. You know, I want to talk to you. You used to be an in-house SEO. That's how we first met. Yep. You're now working for being a search engine. How has your perception of SEO changed? Well, I'll tell you, it's amazing because um, just like earlier this year at one of the sessions that was going on at one of the conferences, we spent a lot of time talking about what the new signals of search were and what people should be investing in. And it was really interesting because I was only there for the Q&A portion. I wasn't allowed to present, which meant I had a front row seat to what some of the top SEOs in the industry considered important tactics. And at the end of it, the first statement I made was, I'm really humbled to be on the stage with these people because they're nailing it. They've got it right. They're doing so well with what matters most and focusing on the right things. So I've literally had that kind of 360 degree view. And I got to tell you where we stand today, best practices, the guidance that, that you know, good quality consultants and agencies are bringing forward and some of the learning resources that are out there, they're nailing it. They're telling people what they need to focus on and things that will make them successful long term with their businesses. So I'm, I think it's fantastic, right? The industry's going in the right direction. The right information is out there. And we continue to bring the right information forward, which is why I'm excited at Bing because I'm encouraged to be more transparent from the corporate side, which is fabulous. And what are the, the things that were on that panel that made you feel so humble, that, that made you say, wow, that's spot on, that's exactly what people should be focusing yeah, so, on? So, um, you know, for probably six months prior to that, I'd been running all over the, the country, you know, telling everybody, oh, content is king. And, and largely, um, everybody knows this, but it's kind of, we've been saying this for a long time now. So it's really good to, though, understand that, in fact, yes, content is king. It, does make a difference. There is a definitive cut line between quality content, depth of content, um, whether somebody's replicating content, these kinds of things. So think as an authority. You want to be the authority. And if you build content along those ideals, along those lines, you end up with a much better product. So hearing the leading voices in the industry, like Rand Fishkin and, and these kinds of guys, actually telling people that that's what they feel is important based on their own work and experience, that was really, really exciting for me because it's not just one voice, it's multiple key voices in the industry telling people and guiding people on that common thread. And it, it was, I literally had shivers when I was on stage because these top line items around social quality content, becoming an authority, those things permeated all three presentations that happened for various reasons. And I, I, I could not have been more on key had I written it myself. And what about those, you know, very specific nitty-gritty little best practices like, you know, H1 tags, H2s, H3s, yeah. not too many. Like, how do you guys feel about those today? They're fantastic. Um, what I encourage people to do is thinking those as housekeeping, okay? So there's an expectation that you're going to bring forward a quality product, right? You want to have a quality product. You want your clients and customers to see you as a quality resource. So you're going to dot your I's and cross your T's. And that's essentially what those technical SEO elements are. They're dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Making sure that you have an H1 tag is, that is in properly, hey, that's fantastic. But it's more important that you're leveraging that H1 tag the right way, getting the keywords into the title that's being written. So you're connecting with the user and subconsciously making the connection to what they originally searched on. That's much more important. But it isn't going to happen if you don't have the H1 tag in place. It'll end up being somewhere else. And then you miss one of those minor signals that tells us, hey, this is the next piece of content on the page. You know, the whole idea, the crawler coming in and consuming your page on down, that hasn't gone away. It still happens. So you still want to dot the I's, cross the T's, get your titles correct, make sure you got a good meta description in there, and that it's being picked up by the search engine properly. Make sure the H1 tags are in there. Um, I had a bit of a back and forth with Danny Sullivan on this one, but I'll put it out there. Meta keyword tags, Look, if you want to invest in them, be smart about it. Follow the best practices. If you want to skip it, by all means, go ahead. It's not going to get you any farther ahead. If you do go in and start, start sticking in all kinds of keywords, though, be warned because that's an old spammer tactic. And it's still a valid one for spammers to try, which means we still watch for it. So, you know, just be thoughtful about it. More importantly, though, is folks understanding that balance, that footprint idea of a website, and what that page looks like to their consumer, their visitor, our searcher. Is it a good quality environment? Or is it overrun with advertising? And are there links taking you off the page, distracting you from what you came there for, that content? No, no, if you've got an authoritative page that answers their questions and keeps them engaged, that's the way to go. You build the traffic, and then you look at the monetization. So. 
that's that's it. That just SEO right there. That's what you need.